I'm wanting to show you guys a cool new feature in Houdini 10. As you can see, I have a lot and everything here laid out with some Tauruses. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my light here and just adjust it a little bit. Let's make it a little less intense. We've got our cone angle, we got our cone delta. As you can see what happens here when we adjust those. Got our roll off. Now we can go into our shadows. And we can adjust our shadow bias and our shadow intensity. And we'll adjust all that. And when we do that, I'm going to demonstrate this new feature and it's called the render view. And it's absolutely wonderful. So let me go to my render view in Houdini 10. Now, as you can see, I'm rendering out right here in a preview what I'm seeing. And as I change, you can see this does update. Now you can see we're looking at it from out here. So let's zoom in. And also, I want you to notice that I can go into my material palette and I can add some bricking to the floor as you can see the render view here will update live okay also you can do even one better than that let's try a glow yeah got to our torus now we got kind of a funny look and you can go in here and you can change your glow color we'll change it to a blue now as you can see that updates Okay, well, let's go back into our material palette. Let's get rid of that glow. And let's look for, what else could we do? Glass. Let's do some glass. And we'll also get some, what else could we get here? Gold, chrome. Here's reflective. We'll try reflective. And we want, let's see, what else could we get? Let's do checkerboard. Okay. Now let's make our torus's glass. And the thing is, I can drag right to my preview window. I'm going to drag that up there now, as you can see. We're rendering out our glass torus's. And if I grab a real screen render, which is this, this is low proxy version, you can see this continues to render. 35, 36, 37 percent while this renders and this preview is also multi-threaded it'll use completely all of your cores okay now you can see we're rendering out our glass toruses here okay so we can get a little bit better view of that let's get rid of the bricking let's make it checkerboard now as you can see our render preview is updating. I have it now rendering glass and stuff is, you know, pretty intensive. So you'll just have to, to wait on some things. But this render preview is so hell. I think they just finally took some cues from Modo because Modo's got a live render preview like this. And this helps so much from having to go down here and hit this render button every time you want to see what your scene is going to look like. And you can see we're rendering out some pretty realistic glass spheres here with our checkerboard underneath okay so let's let that finish rendering out and I'll be right back okay now we have our rendered preview version and our real rendered version as you can see they're pretty similar pretty good render preview so let's go back out here let's grab my grid I'm just going to scale this up just a tad Okay, now let's go back and change our materials a little bit more. Let's make our... Uh, let's get rid of the glass. Let's make our Taurus's checkerboard. And let's make the bottom grid reflective surface. And now you can see our preview is updating. If I want to see what it's going to look like from a different camera angle, I just grab a different camera angle and it updates. 
So let's grab a quick screen render here. So I can, you can compare the, the output of the old way to the new preview here, render here. You can see they both do an excellent job and this new render preview in Houdini 10 is just so marvelous that I'm, I'm using Houdini twice as much. I do all my modeling in Modo except for a few things that are just come easier in Houdini. Not very many as far as modeling goes Moto's king of the, the roost and, and stuff like that. So I model and render in Moto um, and small animations. My fluids, my fires, my dynamics, um, rigging, all is done in Houdini. And now that Houdini's got these new features, especially this render preview, my workflow has improved so much that the tools are getting so much better, guys. It's just unbelievable. So um, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video of Houdini 10 New Features.